What is up? Happy Euphoria Sunday to you all. I am. I can't believe how fast this season has went by. It literally seemed like it was yesterday when Fez was whooping uh, Nate's ass at that uh, New Year's Eve party. What's going on, everybody? Elliot back again. It's uh, it's bittersweet. It is bittersweet. We are here for the season two finale of euphoria ladies and gentlemen we have come so long to get to this point i mean we had to like i said witness an ass whooping uh from nate we had to witness some friend breakups we had to witness some moms showing some tough love to their daughters we had to witness rue running across the world like run lola run uh and we saw a play that was pretty fantastic and here we are discussing tonight's finale i'm so excited to be here with you all let me know in the comments if you can hear me okay see me okay all that good stuff because uh it's gonna be a fun time i love doing these watch alongs with you all because it's literally my first time so just to let you all know this is my first time watching episode i was you know fortunate enough to have the screeners from hbo uh for the first seven episodes and i watched it weekly with you i didn't watch it in advance i would watch every episode the saturday before the sunday you know watch it review it and have it out for you guys for when the episode ended but i have not seen episode eight so you will be literally seeing my live reaction to Whatever we get tonight. I mean, the laughs, the tears. And, and listen, if you've been part of this community for a while, I have cried on a live stream when uh, we'll show. It was uh, Love, Lovecraft Country. We, we did a watch long for that. And I was, when Atticus, well, I don't want to spoil that for people that haven't seen it. But yeah, you might see some tears tonight if we get what I, you know, made my prediction video. Maybe some character saying goodbye. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into all that tonight. But what's going on, everybody? Elliot here from Movie Files. So excited to be here to talk to you all. This is a little pregame before the live show. We got people in the building. We got, uh, so I'm excited as well. What's going on, Reese? What's going on to everyone in the chat? I am uh, so excited to be here. I've never been part of a live reaction before. Hey, we're Roller Girl, this is uh, one of many that I've done on this channel before. It's essentially, we're just going to be watching this together as a community. You all have been so awesome these last eight weeks, supporting the channel, watching the videos, leaving your comments. Uh, sharing the videos, just being such you know wonderful people, wonderful Euphoria fans. So essentially, the way it's going to go, Roller Girls, once that clock hits eight o'clock, I'm going to hopefully uh, be able to press play on my end. I say hopefully because sometimes these watch alongs, when there's so many people watching HBO at once, sometimes the servers are a little bit iffy. Uh, but we're not going to put that in the ether. We're going to nothing but positive vibes. Once it hits eight o'clock, we're going to watch it together, some light commentary, and then we're going to have our live after show uh, right after that. So I hope you are excited for all that goodness going going on tonight because it is euphoria sunday what's going on justin how we doing my good friend who else we got in the building we got nicole showing some love how we doing how we doing we got so many wonderful euphoria people some some uh you know big supporters of the channel and i appreciate you all stopping by and showing some love but yeah this is it this is the the night that we have all been waiting for like i said it, it is bittersweet because i i love the show so much i love the discussions that we have about this show and it's i can't believe the eight weeks <laughs> went by so damn fast the last two weeks we had what a, an all-star game a super bowl uh tonight's the sag awards and and this show has just been dominating the headlines when it comes to twitter and and obviously TikToks of the world i i can't believe we are at this point but uh we're gonna have some fun it's a, it's a fun night tonight again we're gonna do this live watch Watch along with the community watch party. We're going to break down the episode together. And then we're going to, of course, do our live uh, after show tonight. So if this is your first time to the end, welcome, first and foremost. If you haven't subscribed, definitely do so. Come and join this awesome community. Make sure you're sharing the video, all that fun stuff, and having some great conversations in the comments section. But as you all can see on the screen now, Right now, we're going to be doing this live watch party, watch along with the community, and then literally at 9.15 tonight, we're going live. Myself and some incredible people that I uh, can't wait to talk about tonight's episode with, so I hope you all are ready to uh, have a good time. So uh, listen, let's talk. Let's have this community discussion. Let's have this therapy session that we've been doing for these last few weeks, and let's get some uh, some conversations going. I got some some questions prepped for you all and, and just kind of some discussions that I want to have with you all before we, you know, watch the episode tonight. I uh, just want to know where you all are at with these characters. want to know what you're thinking about the characters, what you all hope to see for the characters tonight and how some of their stories will wrap up, you know, maybe how that's going to tie into a season three or what have you. So let's have let's have some fun. Let's have some fun, have some discussions. But let me read some of these comments here before we dive into it. Give me a second here with my uh, headphones being all tangled up old school, right? Who uses wired headphones in 2022? This guy. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what we got here in the chat. Let's see. Let's see, Nicole. Yes. Yes, we will. We will go crazy. 
if, if uh, something happens to him or Astre. <clears throat> this season's been incredible. This season's been really good. I'm, I'm really excited to talk more about it. Uh, obviously, I have to be watching the finale and, and, and do all that fun stuff. So, uh, but it's been a it's been a really good season. It's been some some high moments, probably some of the best euphoria moments, uh, and some moments that haven't been. You know, we'll we'll get to all that. But yes, overall, it's been a pretty entertaining season, no less. Uh, let's see here, what's going on, Nikki? How we doing? How we doing? First, wa- oh, woo, woo, woo. first live watch party. What's going on, Miss Williams? It's uh, it's go. It's gonna be a good time tonight. I'm glad you're able to join tonight. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Lou. It's getting real tonight. It is getting real. I hope you all are ready for some craziness. We got Nisi Smith. This this person here has been such a great. There's so many great people that's a uh, part of the community here that's joining us live, and this is one of them. Always showing love, always showing support. I don't even know. If, miss, do you watch this though, Nisi Smith? Are you watching Euphoria? Uh, let me know in the chat. But if not, I still appreciate you. You show so much love on the channel, uh, which, by the way, not to, you know, uh, bring, well, here you go. Perk time. Okay. We just passed 20,000 subscribers, and she's been one of the most loyal, most supportive uh, parts of the community. And I really appreciate her so much. So definitely, uh, you know, give, a, give, give some hearts in the, in the chat for uh, Nisi Smith showing some love to the channel and just being an awesome person in general. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah. T minus 21 minutes. So let me go ahead. Let me let me get all this stuff going here and uh, get some of these questions that I have for you all. I have a little conversation with you all before we get it going. Uh, let's get into some characters. I want to talk about Rue. I want to talk about Jules. And I want to talk about Elliot. Uh, such a fantastic name. W- what do we think is going to happen with this, uh, this trio here tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Do we think Rue will continue her apology tour with, uh, obviously, it was Ali in episode six. Uh, and she has yet to kind of communicate with anyone else besides her mom uh, that we got last week. But what do we think will happen with Rue, Jules, and Elliot? Uh, let's, talk off, let's talk about Rue for a little bit. What are we hoping to see? With this character tonight, are we going to see her, you know, last week she seemed to be in a pretty good state of mind at the play. She seemed to be pretty, pretty okay with some of the stuff that Lexi revealed in the play, right? She seemed to be very, um, you know, appreciating those memories that she was able to share with Lexi, the friendship they had, how Lexi was there for her when her father passed away, all that stuff. And it seems like um, Rue is on a good path. Now, I'm going to get to another character a little bit later that might... (laughs) derail that good path that she's on, uh, a.k.a. Lori. But what do you all want to see tonight for Rue's character? Do we want to see that full arc of the redemption? Do we want to see her fully invest in herself and believe in herself and leave the drugs aside after her, you know, conversation we had last week with her and her mom showing her like, hey, if you want to ruin your life, go right ahead, honey, because I got another daughter to take care of. Do we think she's going to take those words to heart and really try to do good or... Is she going to take Leslie's advice and be like, oh, oh, I can do all the drugs? Well, you say you flush me down the toilet and go ahead and go in the sewers and get those drugs. Do, will she revert back to that? I personally hope not. Just for a story point, like I'm, I'm, I love Zendaya, but I want to see other layers of Rue besides her being high all the time and doing all these crazy stuff. So I would love to explore that in a season three. Uh, but again, what do we want to see with Rue in tonight's finale? Will we see her deciding to really go on this path of redemption and cleaning herself up for herself? Number one, her loved ones and her friends, as I mentioned, Jules. And you know, to that point, what do you all want to see with Jules tonight? I mentioned this a couple days ago when I did a a prediction video, which, by the way, I appreciate every single one of you all watching that video. It's doing pretty well on the channel. But Jules has been an interesting character this year. You know, she has been kind of stuck on this one path of a character, uh, you know, plot, which is the whole Elliot Rue love triangle thing. But what about Jules? What's what's really going on with Jules? And this, this season hasn't really explored the depths of obviously her... If you saw the special, she's still in love with, you know, Tyler, a.k.a. Nate, in a sense. So we really didn't explore that, even though they had their little powwow in the car in episode, what was that, five or six? Um, So what do you all want to see with Jules tonight's character? Do we want to see her have that conversation with Rue? This is what happened with me and Elliot. You know, this is where my mindset's at. And and Rue relaying the lies that she's had throughout this relationship. Do we want to see that conversation? And then again, there's a, there's a three-way street in this uh, relationship. And the other gentleman, other uh, character is Elliot. Uh, what do we, are we going to get anything for Elliot this year? For this finale, I saw some people speculating that they might he might die. But I don't know if you all have been following some of the social media stuff out there. But he was on... Um, it was Jimmy Kimball or Jimmy Fallon, I'm sorry. And he said, oh, yeah, I'll be back for season three. 
we'll, you know, we'll see what Sam Levinson does because I'm pretty sure the actor that played <laughs> Chris McKay probably said the same thing in season one. We all know what happened to that character. But wh- let me know what you all hope to see with this uh, this group of characters here. Again, with uh, Rue, you know, we got Jules. Are they going to have a conversation, hash it out, decide that they're not meant to be together right now and just be friends and support one another? Uh, or will they try to get back together? And again, how does this, uh, how does Elliot tie into all that? Let me know you guys' thoughts on that and let me catch up to some of these comments here because you guys are lighting up the chat and I appreciate you all again. Again, if you're watching this live, uh, thank you. Give this video a thumbs up. Continue these great comments in the comment section. Share the video. That really helps out too. Anyone you know that loves this show just as much as we do, let's get them in the conversation and um, let's see what we can get going tonight. So let me catch up, see what you all are thinking about these characters. Of course, I knew you did. You got great taste. I knew you did. I knew you did. I was messing with you. Um, Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. We have, I think Rue is going to focus on herself, honestly. I don't know why, but I feel like uh, that might be a thing that Nate and Jules <coughs> will be intrigued. Yeah, that that's something that um, we talked about that, right? When they had the conversation in the car, I was I was shocked by Jules. Like, you know, when, when Nate told her, you know, I meant everything I said. And she said, you know, so do I. I'm like, Jules, so and you don't even need to be talking to him, number one. But I don't know. I think that is a, a, a story or a plot that can be explored in season three. And, and we'll see how they handle that. Because, uh, you know, it'll be kind of uh, the back and forth and everything with that character with her and Nate has not really been explored at all this season. So I wonder what's going to come of all of that. Uh, Rue is clean for good this time. I hope so. I really do. I hope that conversation she had with... Uh, Ali hits home. I hope the conversation she had with her mom hits home. And I hope just her as an individual. I hope that she can realize when clean, you know, uh, better things work out for her. So, yeah. Let's see here. Jules pisses me off. Elaborate, Sky. Let me know your thoughts. From a story point line, she hasn't really been doing much for me. Uh, but let me know a little bit more in depth of what you mean by how she pisses you off. She can be frustrated. I will say. Elliot is so high. <laughs> He's more screen time. Hey, he he is a very mysterious character so far. We still don't know where he comes from. You know, how how long has he been in this town? You know, we don't really know of that much about Elliot. So I definitely hope that that is something that might be explored in a season three. But again, uh, again, let me know, guys, what you all hope to see with that trio. But we got another trio here. Maybe even more toxic trio. Maybe even more, um, you know, controversial trio. Controversial trio here. I think you all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about these three people here. I'm talking about Nate. I'm talking about, oops, not that people there. Not that people there. Uh, I'm talking about Nate. I'm talking about Cassie. And I'm talking about Manny. What are we going to do with them? What are we going to do with these individuals? Why are they so toxic? (laughs) Why is Nate so terrible? <clears throat> Why is the question I have for you all? What do you all hope to see from these characters tonight regarding their arcs, right? Let's let's start off with the devil himself. I'm talking about Nate Jacobs. Nate this season has been dealing with his father as he uh as his dad so eloquently, eloquently said a couple weeks ago, you know, you won, you beat me, son. Uh this eight-year battle, Nate became the the man of the house. He's been dealing with his, uh, you know, I guess official, unofficial breakup with Maddie and just, you know, maneuvered his way over to Cassie. And now he uh, is embarrassed in front of the school after what Alexi did last week. So what are we hoping to see with Nate Jacobs tonight? Is it a, another apology tour from another character? Are we going to see Nate apologize to you know, Maddie, are we going to, especially after putting a gun up to her head a couple weeks ago, which I'm surprised Maddie went to the, uh, the play after such a tra- traumatic, uh, experience, but you know, we know Maddie's, uh, you know, she, she, she doesn't let stuff bother her too much. Uh, but what are we expecting for Nate again, from some of the shots, which we'll talk about before we watch tonight's episodes, one of the shots from the trailer is, it seems like there's police cars coming to the play um, because that definitely looks like the back of a, I really don't even know how to describe this shot here. Uh, It looks like a a warehouse of some sorts, but maybe it's like the back of the, you know, he's walking through the play. I don't know. I don't know what to expect from Nate tonight, but I know one thing. I want to see what happens with the the best friends. And that's more or less, uh, you know, I'm talking about, I'm talking about uh, Cassie. I'm talking about, uh, you know, Maddie. I really want to see them to have a conversation. I want to see them to have the heart to heart uh, before, you know, Maddie gets her those, uh, those one, two combo punch. (laughs) I want to see them have a conversation because it really was, uh, you know, a really great scene when we saw Maddie and Cassie having the conversation with her, like, you know, 
I know how I felt when our, our dad left, and I would love to be that person for you to support you through this time. So I thought that was such a touching moment, and obviously having her best friend or who she thought to be her first best friend do what she did. So I would love for them to have a one-on-one conversation again after that uh, that ass whooping that looks like it's just uh, a matter of time before we get that <laughs> in tonight's finale. But let me know again in the chat, what are you all hoping to see with our three characters on the screen now? And again, that's Nate. That's Maddie and that's Cassie. Uh, do we think there's going to be any tragedies with any of these characters tonight or any of them? I, again, I mentioned there's a picture with with Nate with police cars. Is is he going to be uh, arrested? Because there are many things that he has done that definitely can get him arrested. More in particularly, again, with that whole Maddie situation, uh, if you all recall from my review, there's a shot in that episode when he had the gun in her room. There's a shot on Maddie's wall that says, smile, you're on camera. I wonder if she caught any of that stuff that he did reported him and the cops uh, well then uh, she would have reported pretty easy. i don't know we'll see we'll see what comes of him i don't know if his some people speculated that the cops are there maybe because good old cow maybe uh might be off uh off the rails again or got into a car accident or something of that nature so maybe the police are coming to tell him that their father you know is in a hospital so let me know what you all hope to see with those three characters and uh, let me pull up some of these comments here regarding these characters that we just talked about let me catch up here you guys are so great i appreciate you again for all the awesome comments checking in tonight doing all the fun stuff here will we be able to watch this episode with you yeah so molly if you have hbo max we can watch it you know individually on our own screens but having like a communal experience while watching it um but I won't be putting the show on the screen for copyright reasons. If I were to do that, uh, HBO or I should say YouTube will definitely snatch that video right off the uh, the screen uh, because it's obviously showing you know a, a show that's not I don't have the rights to. So I won't be able to show it on the screen. So I'm hoping you all have HBO, uh, HBO Max <clears throat> for my people in Canada. Uh, can't think of the app name, but I hope you all have it on your end for we can watch it as a, as a communal experience. Uh, but yeah, those three are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. So let me know again what you all are hoping to see from those characters. And I think I saw some super chats. Let me make sure I might have missed some because, uh, again, you all have been so great. I appreciate all 113 of you all tuning in. We got one here. Uh, let's go, Elliot. We're ready for the finale. I am as well. Thank you, No. Uh, Pico J, I appreciate the love and support. Stopping by, showing some love there. Is that, I'm sure I see your thumbnail. Is that a Euphoria thumbnail, some of the Euphoria characters? But I uh, appreciate you. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're 10 minutes away uh, from that finale. Um, 10 minutes away. We got another one here from Sky. Uh, Sky Bree, thank you. Thank you uh, for tuning in. Thank you for the super chat there. I appreciate you. Uh, and again, let me know in the comments, you all, what you're hoping to see with those characters. And then uh, a couple of the characters before we get this thing started. Again, we're 10 minutes away from tonight's finale uh, for season two, episode eight. I, I can't believe the finale is here. But you guys see the characters that I have on the screen now? This, this, this is where we might get a little emotional because uh, we're talking... Lexi, we're talking Fez, and we're talking Ashtray. Now, let's start off with Lexi Howard, the GOAT, <laughs> the, the woman that brought us the, the incredible play last week uh, in such a great way and just such a, a great uh, character arc that we got from her so far this season. Her not, no longer being in the shadows and not being an observer, but being, you know, speaking her mind in, in a form of a play. What are we hoping to see with Lexi tonight? Are we are we going to see her continue this path of speaking her truth? Are we going to see her continue this path of letting her thoughts be known to her family and friends? Will we see that tonight? Let me know because uh, this face here ain't looking too good, especially with this uh, this psycho walking down the lane after getting dumped uh, for for her uh, uh, recall or her, uh, her ex-boyfriend at this point. But let me know what you all want to see with Lexi Howard. Uh, are we going to see some flowers being given to her by a particular character? I think you all know who I'm talking about. Or will things end in the tragedy, which brings me to this note. This guy here. Little thug himself, Ashtray, and his uh, you know, unofficial big brother. We're talking about Fez. What do we are we, you know, we may, we talked about it last week. We've been talking about it for the last week, right? For honestly, for probably for a couple weeks now, in regards to Fezco is such a great, great person, such a nice person, right? But he makes so many bad mistakes. Dating back to, you know, this season alone, having that incident with Jay uh Nate. I love the ass whooping. That was great, that was fantastic. But maybe it wasn't the best idea, right? With the public, everyone seeing that, maybe could have got some cops involved, but it seemed like he was able to escape with that one. 
But then Fez Yoletta, who I presume to be a you know someone uh, that has a felony, has uh, you know a warrant for their arrest, letting a uh, Faye in the house not the bad, not the best decision. Uh, and of course, Ashtray being thrown in that mix last year, killing Mouse, which I still don't know. I'm wondering what they did with the body. Is anyone uh, curious about that? What did they do with Mouse's body? But either here nor there. Um, the big question is: Are we based on that trailer again? Uh, I haven't seen the episode, but based on the trailer. We got Faye looking crazy, dropping a glass in the trailer. We got, uh, you know, Fez at one point is banging on the door. And it uh, looks like he's in, in agony and in pain and shock and, and, and scared. <coughs> is, is it because he saw his little brother get shot, get hurt, get arrested, uh, or die? Are, are, are we talking about the death of Ashtray? Uh, maybe Faye. I don't know. Maybe the lips will protect her. Uh, bulletproof lips, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, maybe the lips will keep her safe. But are we looking at the death of some characters tonight? In particular, like I said, Ashtray and, and Fez. This show's dark on many levels, right? But killing off two characters that would be that would be different from the show right especially two characters especially fez for example he's been given so much more to do this season episode one still stands out to me with uh, grandma g and who speaking of grandma g who would take care of grandma uh and now just thinking about it maybe she gets you know accidentally shot or hurt during this we pursue you know perceived to think that this is a raid uh coming in with uh Faye's boyfriend uh snitching on on Fez and whatnot but maybe she gets hurt you know but if she doesn't who's going to take care of grandma g but um yeah I don't know if we're going to witness a death tonight of Fezco and uh Alexi being someone that they have kind of built this relationship and I wish I would have saved the article but I could have sworn and again you know actors actresses they have they can't spoil things but I could have sworn I remember the actress who plays Lexi saying that her and Fez they have uh there's more to explore in a season three again she didn't probably want to spoil anything maybe she did let something up that he might not be the one that you know dies if we're assuming that but uh yeah let me know in the comments because we're less than five minutes away or i should say five minutes away from tonight's finale will we see a character's death and particularly those characters that i just mentioned uh you know fezco his little bro and uh, ashtray or like i said will Faye save the day like i said she is uh she's a wild card maybe she'll i don't know use her intelligence to get them out of the situation <laughs> so let me know your thoughts on that and then before we wrap it up we still got some you know secondary characters that maybe haven't gotten the most screen time uh as you all can see on the screen now i'm talking about you know cal are we going to get him in this finale at all uh cat who's been as you all if you've been following me i i've not been a fan of how they've written her this season she has been and not the actress by any fault just uh they just haven't really done much done much with her unfortunately um you know, are we going to get, what are we going to get with Gia? You know, what are we going to get with Leslie? Uh, is there any arcs or any plots you would like to see them be uh, involved with in this finale? Let me know that. And then I think the question of all questions, because I'm going to go ahead and just read the rest of you guys' comments and get the, um, the HBO Max loaded up where we can uh, go ahead and press play right at 8 o'clock. But I think the question a lot of us have been speculating, have been theorizing, just been kind of curious about who's that third baby? Who is that third child that apparently was a part of the Jacobs family? I don't know if this is just a slip up of all slip ups in regards to when they took this photo season one, when they were shooting the show, you know, it was like, oops, you know, maybe there is a third child and now they forgot to Photoshop it out. Or maybe that's a plot uh, to explore in a season three. But what do you all think? You know, for a little bit, I was thinking, you know, oh, maybe it's... Um, you know, Ashtray, but then I was thinking like, no, that wouldn't make sense. Cause when we saw Ashtray in episode one, he was a baby. He ain't no baby in this picture. It would be weird for them to, you know, for Fesco to have him as a baby and they give him to the Jacobs and then he doesn't, you know, go back with him. That doesn't really add up. Uh, I, I've been also thinking what Elliot, I mentioned earlier, where the hell you come from, but that would be, I mean, maybe he's like, I'm going to find my dad and move into this town and whatnot. I don't know if it's Elliot. Uh, I mean, age wise, he looks to be a lot younger than his, you know, than, um, Nate's older brother, and, and of course, Nate, I mean, I, I assume he's, what is, what is Elliot? Is he a junior? Is he the same age as, as Rue and Jules and, and Maddie and all of them? Uh, or again, is this just a, an F up on production? And is there no <laughs> third child that's going to be involved? I know some people speculate that they think that the kid is, um, 
was uh, killed, unfortunately. And some people think that Nate might have had something to do with it. Um, you know, some people speculated that when when um, when Cal was doing his whole you know speech to the family, he said, "My biggest regret is you." And some people were like, "Well, because maybe you know he had to do with uh, the death of their uh, their son or whatnot." So. I don't know. Again, is that third child a plot you all want to explore? If that third child is something that we can explore in season three, if that, again, is just a just a production problem and they just didn't like CGI out the kid in, in, the, in the episodes. Uh, or like I said, it could be something to explore. Um, and again, I'm, I'm looking at the TV now because uh, I'm going to be setting up the HBO Max here. And again, what a live watch long is for you all that might be new to it. It's essentially what I'm going to watch play. You're going to watch play, uh, Kid and Play for House uh, house Party. We're going to watch Euphoria together. We're going to press, press play at the same time. I'm going to have a stopwatch on the screen, and we're going to just commentate on it. We're going to react to it live. Again, I haven't seen the episode yet, so we're going to watch it as a community, as a communal experience, as if we're sitting next to each other on a couch and just being you know, fans of the show, watching it together. So that's essentially what we're going to be doing on this live stream. Again, I can't put the Euphoria episode on the screen due to YouTube copy right reasons. So again, I hope you all have access to HBO Max or HBO or any uh, uh, whatever streaming service you have that gives you access to the show. I hope you all have that because we will be watching it together as a community. So that's what we're doing in less than one minute. It is 7.59 p.m. on my end, Central Time. And uh, normally I know HBO Max takes like a couple minutes for it to like go live. So as soon as it goes live on my on my side, I'm going to have a timer up for you all. And then, you know, just in case you're watching the replay, uh, just in case you're going to the bathroom, you know, checking your phones and what have you, you'll know exactly where we are. So I think some people said in the chat that it's actually on now. <clears throat> so let me uh, reset my HBO, get the timer ready. All right. So let me reset it because it's not loaded on my screen. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, is this it here? Episode. Okay, here we go. There we go. All right. So it's an hour and twelve minutes. Okay. So right now, um, they're showing um, the Lakers show. I'm actually excited for because I'm a Lakers fan. If you all don't know, for my sports fans out there, let me set this up right quick. Here we go. All right. So we should be Gucci to watch this. And then as soon as the episode plays, I'm going to start the, the stop watch on my screen so you guys can know where we're at. All right. So got that. And, oh, that's the hour. We're going to do the special. Yeah, they're going to do Okay. So I'm getting the, the, the viewer discretion advice thing. So I'm going to hold on and press pause. All right. All right, cool. So... Right now, there's, I'm going to go ahead and let it do what happened last week. So just let you all know at home, it should be, it's available on my HBO Max now, and they're, they're recapping what happened last week. So as soon as the episode officially starts, I'm going to press play, and I'll put the timer so you all can know. We're at, I don't know why I'm nervous. Is it getting hot in here all of a sudden? I didn't grab the tissues for just in case, you know, some tears come out. I'm nervous. I am nervous. Oh, man. I'm so excited and nervous at the same time. All right. Still showing the, the preview. And again, I'm going to press pause. And as soon as everyone is giving me a thumbs up that you guys are ready to go, I'm going to press play. And then hopefully, you know, you can press play and we can watch this together. Gosh, I'm getting anxious. Lexi, talk about you getting anxious. <clears throat> Again, for those that are just tuning in, I'm watching the recap. Um, and they just show Cassie breathing on the mirror like a psycho. All right. All right, so I got the HBO thing. So, all right, let me know. Let, give me a thumbs up at home. I got the the fizzle, the you know, HBO, uh, which I love. It's the best. HBO is the greatest. Uh, that's on my screen now. So I'm going to wait till you guys give me a thumbs up. Let everyone in the chat give me a thumbs up. We can get this. Okay, we got some thumbs up. You guys ready? All right, you ready? You all ready? 
I ain't ready. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not ready. I'm nervous. I'm scared for Fez. I'm scared for, for Ashtray. I'm scared for all of them. All right, we're about to get this thing started. So let me go ahead and press play. Let me go ahead and get the timer started. In a five, in a four, in a three, in a two. Pressing play now. <sighs> Let's go. We just kick him right off with Fez, huh? God damn it. I don't know if I'm ready. What's about to happen? It's not good, bro. Just leave, Fez. Just leave. Take Ashtray with you. Just ask it about the body. Why are you picking up glass with your bare hands? Oh, Faye, thank you. Because you all remember, he got that phone there on the table. He's just trying to get the... Thank you, Faye. You and, his, you and them lips coming through. Yeah, I heard you do. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. <sighs> Ashtray, calm down. Right, Nicole. I don't let me get. <clears throat> Shout out to Faye. Uh, Ashtray, what you doing, bro? Ash. That was dope. God damn it, Ash. God damn it. He's a ride or die, but god damn, that kid is a wild card. God damn. Well, there's the death. At least one. Oh, my gosh. All I got to say, Ash. Mm. 
And then they just going to add more of this relationship they're building for. We could just feel even bad for if something else happens. Hmm. Talking about having kids. Again, for all those that are just tuning in live, um, we are our five minutes in. Yeah. This man's a G. Y'all remember that back in the day, being in high school? Maybe these are some people are still in high school that you just can talk to someone for hours at a time. Maybe you can still do it now. I, I can't. I hate talking on the phone. But look at Lexi. She's so cute. Uh, so, so he's thinking that's what he's that's on his mind right now, is he's thinking about Lexi. Wow. Are they just going to give us the first like 15 minutes? Is this this whole situation at hand? Psycho. I said last week she reminded me of Michael Myers. A lot of you all compared her to Carrie. I think it's a mixture of both. <laughs> oh, but God damn it. Man, Cassie, can you just sit down? HBO down is working okay over here, Steph. Hope it gets back up sometime soon. Susie, get your daughter. Get your daughter, please. Get your daughter. For y'all at home, let me see in uh, General uh, Cassie about to wreck some stuff. What I want to know is why isn't Susie stopping her daughter? <sighs> this ain't good. This ain't good. Someone trip her. Someone grab her. Something. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, God
<sighs> How y'all feeling right now? Oh man. <laughs> I'm I guess there's some issues with HBO, guys. I I try to give you a walk by I mean right now Lex or Cassie is being an asshole. It has her sister on stage and embarrassing her. And Lexi's trying to tell her to stop. I hope HBO's service can get back up. I like this comment. What did it say? <laughs> Can you guys see the reflection off my glasses? What's going on right now? Ah, oh, man, I hope HBO gets uh, the servers back up. Susie, it's a little too late. Get her off stage. Get off stage. Is this? I feel embarrassed for them right now. I wonder, is this fake? Because we know that Cassie had that dream in the bathroom when she told Maddie that she was dating Nate. Is this real right now? Or is she imagining it? Is she still at the window breathing heavy? Maddie, get up there. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Mm. Where are the teachers? Where are the adults in this situation? Oh, <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm just thinking logically. Where are the adults in this situation to get their damn kids? Can, can we just get off the stage? And they're still going through with the play. <laughs> I guess the teachers don't attend the school or attend extracurriculars. Oh, shit. There's Maddie. Oh, damn. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Maddie beat her ass. Oh, she got it, y'all. Maddie got it with the right. This is like watching Jerry Springer in Euphoria right now. Maddie got her, y'all. She got it by the neck. Cassie's I'm trying to do a play by play for you. She's running down the stairs for those. Uh, She's running. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. What's their goofy ass friend name? She's the audience right now. Duh. <laughs> Maddie coming through. Maddie beat her ass. Well, I still think that that conversation between Maddie and Cassie needs to happen. 
Oh, here we go. So we do get a memo on Elliot. I'm sorry for the, for y'all that don't have uh that the web that uh, HBO is down right now. Oh, they see. Hey, that's what I said. The apology tour. There you go, room. There you go, room. Shout out to room. Well, he does have a secret. Hmm. Is he gonna tell her he's he's been sleeping with Jules? Oh, I got you. Uh, let me pull up the timer here for you. Yeah, we're at the 17 minute mark in uh, um, 15 seconds in. 17 minutes and 16 seconds in for you all that are just tuning in. Yeah, like the call set. Yep. Right, Nisi? He's like, all right, guys, have fun tonight. We'll be at home. <laughs> Dominique, by, by his new album, his new single coming out. I've actually never really heard any of his music. He sounds pretty good. Right? That's what I'm saying. Let's pull up Dominique or Dominic's album coming out next week. Right? Nicole, I'm just waiting for him to be like, I slept with your girl. I'm sorry. He's going to throw that in there. I hope it was worth it. Those are words you could say to yourself, my friend. How long is this thing going on? I mean, he sounds sounds good, but got a lot of stuff to wrap up here, Sam Levinson. Can we can we uh, move on? The guy sounds great. Don't get me wrong. But I just I'm one of there's other stuff that I would like to be seeing right now. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, you should throw that line in there, right? <laughs> right. I'm gonna play the song of Super and Jewels, yeah. Roller girl, I'm starting to think we need a two hour finale. We've got a 10 minute music video going on right now. But uh, yeah, it's only like an hour and 15 minutes of it. Okay, he's done. He's done, ladies and gentlemen. Kudos. Now tell her you, you slept with Jules. Truth to dare? Truth. Truth. Okay, here we go. After I tell you that I slept with your girlfriend. <sighs> so you did tell her, I guess. I guess that's up to Jules. Hmm. Oh yeah, it'll be on. It'll be on Spotify by the end of this episode. I bet. Shout out to her. She's a she's a really cool friend. How do you find the watch parties? How do I find other watch parties? I'm not sure. Search on Google, maybe. <clears throat> Again, for those that are just tuning in, we are 22 minutes and 50 seconds into the episode. Again, for those that had the the down the outage on uh, on um, HBO, I'm I'm sorry that happened. Uh, hope that is up and running. Uh, for those that don't have HBO, unfortunately, I can't show the episode on the screen for copyright reasons. Uh, so I hope you all are able to watch this uh, via HBO, HBO Max, or other you know websites that may have this episode <laughs> available. But uh, yeah, we're we're 23 minutes 17 seconds in. How you all feeling so far? We got the the ashtray uh, stabbing homeboy in the neck. Shout out to Rue. We got the meltdown with Cassie just completely losing her head, literally fall, running into a wall, which I don't know where they are right now. <clears throat> but shout out to Rue getting everyone back and, 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 and Lexi back on her high horse and getting her, her head on straight. But again, let me know in the chat, y'all. How y'all feeling so far about the, the, the first 23 minutes of the episode? Are you... Are you engaged are you happy are you sad are you disappointed are you loving it let's talk about it for a brief moment since we uh looks like lexi's getting back there you go oh <laughs> there you go lexi just the bump on the road all right so what are we going to next all right pretty good so far I'm cheering for Lexi, yeah. Yep, that's that's what I'm saying. That's since it's finally she's being a good friend for the first time in probably years. Yeah, that song was like a good 10 minutes. Let's 
true. Oh, there we go. Now we're back to the stuff that's really got me sweating. Someone call Nate. Just get Nate. Swap him out. Put the knife in Nate's hand, and we're good to go. Call Cal. Get him on the on the line. We we can make this work. We just gotta think on our think on our toes, right? We can make that happen. <sighs> oh, damn man, this little dude. A little toy soldier over here, man. What was come on, bro? Don't get y'all killed. I guess fate don't really care that her her dude's dead. They out there. Come on, man. They hiding the cameras. Come on, man. Like you need, I don't know why you got to hold the knife, bro. You, you know, the first thing I would do is see you with a weapon. <sighs> what is this? <laughs> yeah, man. You don't want to live without you, Fez. They're about to bust in the door, yo. And he got he got guns and come on, dude. I don't know why Faye can't open her mouth. They about to cut, ain't they? They about to cut to another scene. What is Nate doing? I can't, y'all. Uh, I can't right now. I'm right there with you, Sky. I don't know roller roller girls looking that way right now. That's a huge player to take off the table. Okay, so I guess we know Nate's not at the play. Is he going to Fez's house? Cow J Oh, 
Uh, I didn't know we was going to get any cow this episode. Is he about to take his dad out, y'all? What are we what are we what are we getting here? What are we what are we going? For y'all that are just tuning in and watching us on the replay. Nate got a gun, visiting his dad who got some company over. I, I, you talk about wild cards. We talked about Astra. I don't know what, what Nate's going to do right now. I literally don't know what he's about to do. Now let me know in the chat. Is this dude about to just straight up just kill his dad? Kill himself? Is he going to tell him when he changed? So. Yep. Talking about it for weeks. That's what Masha was talking about. So he, he, he did not... What that's that nightmare alluded to. I know some people thought he was molested by his dad, but a little bit better understanding here. <clears throat> was that Derek? I wonder if that was Derek. Got his hand on that gun. <clears throat> yeah, we'll put it in the chat now. Is Nate about to shoot his dad? <clears throat> oh, damn. Hmm. What is that? Oh. Oh. He didn't got the cops. Well, let me take that pole out. Well, I don't know why he has the gun, though. Oh, damn. 
Oh, damn. I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. What's, what's the gun for? Well, that explains this shot here from uh, last week's trailer. He called the cops on his dad, guys. Wow. <laughs> I, I just need honesty from you all right now. Do you feel bad for Cal? There's no right or wrong answers. This is a TV show. These are actors playing roles. I just need to know in the comments, do you all feel bad for Cal right now? I just, I just want to know. I just want to know. And on the revert of that, are you... Rooting for Nate in this situation. Okay, let me shut up because goddamn. I don't, I don't feel too good right now for our boy Fez. All right, a lot of you all saying no. Yeah, I don't feel bad for him. I ain't going to lie. Even though he had his little episode with his, with his, with his friend. <sighs> what is he doing? What is he doing? Man, this little dude. Yeah, they really um. Shout out to the production team right now. This I, like I'm I got chills right now. Like this looks like a war zone. Speechless right now, man. How y'all feeling? It's product of the environment. Chris, what is uh that's how I'm saying right now? Let me put up the little time code for all y'all at home. I'm gonna grandma G, I wish she wake up right now and can talk to her a little or is this oh damn damn bro 
What the f- Bro. Come on. You ain't gonna kill a kid on TV, are you? This fan's about to jump front this. I, uh, I'm being a terrible host right now. I'm just kind of speechless right now. I'm not going to even lie. I mean, I hate to be that. I mean, I've seen enough movies and shows to know if you don't see, I mean, it's a kid. You can't kill a kid on TV, especially in, you know, Western TV, American TV. But maybe they, sh he killed a cop, man. I don't know. Or he shot a cop. I don't know. Maybe they just shot Ashtray. Maybe I, maybe he's not dead. Maybe they shot him. I don't know, but I don't know. If it is true, I mean, RIP to Ash, man. Ash Trey was a, he was a real one, but he was a dumb one. I'm sorry to be uh, just a little psycho, man, a little Chucky. But he's, you know, kind of goes to show, you know, product of your environment, man. He went out, guns blazing. He didn't want his big brother to take that fall, I guess. Again, we don't know. I guess we'll wait to see if we have a funeral or something for the character. The little op. Optimism, maybe he's not dead. <clears throat> but that was an incredible scene. I'm not gonna lie, that was like a thing incredibly put together, intense, chaotic. That was great, really great choreographed scene. Who shot Fed? I think Ashtray shot him accidentally. He's just shooting blindly. Yeah. What happened so far? I can't watch on vacation. Well, Chris, I, if you don't care about spoilers, man, we just might have seen Ashtray die. <clears throat> And at least right now, we know that Fez is, uh, he seems to be alive, but you know, I'd be in jail all of season three. <clears throat> Why to ask you, Fez? He didn't mean to, he just shot. Yeah. Yeah.
What did that say? I say Lexi. Damn. Uh, and I love how they're paralleling that to Rue losing her dad. I don't know if he killed that cop, Nicole. I mean, I, he shot him in the shot. I mean, he could have died of uh, blood loss, but yeah. <clears throat> Still, I mean, you can't be shooting cops. You know that. It's a, little, it's, a, it's a little too early for that, Daniel. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I hear you, Laura. I wish I, I could give you some verbal tissues, um, Sky. I think we're going to get that scene here in a little bit. I think they're going to have a conversation. Yeah, he's going to jail, I mean. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I assume they're okay. Okay, so we're four. <laughs> I love this because this is what I want. I said this last week. I just want to see them talk. She's on an apology tour. <clears throat> Are they not aware of Fez and Ashtray? This is not public knowledge. They just think something like Skip town or something? What's going on here? No, that was in that was in, in the play, Chris. That was um in real life. <clears throat> but I'm just kind of confused. So this was days after the play. Like, do they not know what happened with Ashtray and in, in, in uh Fez at this in the present timeline? <clears throat> Let me know in the chat, guys. How y'all? If if we're assuming that he's dead, how do y'all feel about that? I mean, the little dude went out gun blazing. I mean, technically, he did kill Mouse. Technically, he was the one that was shooting. Um, kind of made his bed and slept in it. And I mean, shout out to him, man. The young, young, wise beyond his years in a certain extent. He, he didn't want his brother to take the blame. He took full responsibility, even though he kind of got his brother shot by him shooting at the cops. So was, he's still a kid, I guess. But let me know how y'all feeling about um, the ashtray. Did Susie really do that? <clears throat> I mind you, Lori's still out there, Rue. Don't let's not forget Lori's still out there. <laughs> And then for all those watching the replay or just tuning in uh, on this live watch party, which again, I appreciate all you all supporting, coming through, showing some love. 
50 minutes in, we got, if the rumors to be true, we got nine minutes. What you, I don't know how I feel about that. If we got nine minutes left of this season. Lori's the, the drug dealer that gave Rue the drugs, the suitcase of drugs, and put her on morphine. It was, looked like she was about to sell her. I think Lori's going to, I think we're going to end a cliff. I think we're going to end on that cliffhanger that I predicted in my video that Lori's going to like snatch up Rue. And that's how we're going to end the episode, probably. I hope not, but we'll see. We will see. what I was thinking in my video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said that in a video I made earlier this week. I love this moment, but I, I guess they don't know about Fez right now. Like I, I, are you talking about her dad or Fez? They ain't talking about her dad. Do they not know about Fez? Not himself. Mm -hmm. Some great writing there. I don't know why it's just hitting me now that Lexi probably like feels so close to Rue because she doesn't want to give up on her. Like her dad kind of gave up on her to drugs. And Lexi just always kind of felt that, like, I couldn't help my dad. I couldn't save my dad, but I can save my best friend. And I want to be there for her, give her my pee, give her my, you know. So that's, I love, I, this is what I was, this is what I meant. I was hoping they had this moment. It's great to see. Because we know Lexi was there for Rue. And, okay, so this is a flashback. So this was, that's why they're talking about Fez. Um, Lexi was there for Rue during her dad's death. And uh, it's great to see that Rube is there for her. That's great. <clears throat> 
I'm gonna have to rewatch this episode well a thousand more times just to kind of <laughs> put the chronological order of when things were a past and when it was in the future. Because now I'm confused when Rue said to Lexi, your play was great. And you would have thought that, that, yeah. Either way, I love that, that they that they were able to share that moment. Ooh, I knew they were going to talk, yes. I had that heart to heart. This is one. This is another thing I was uh, wondering when I met that prediction video that Lexi and um, Maddie and <clears throat> Cassie would have a, a bit of a heart to heart. <clears throat> she got a cut on her face, on her foot. But look at Maddie or Cassie. Hmm. Watch my prediction video. I literally said that she was gonna say that to her about her. Just leave him alone, Cassie. It ain't worth it. Just say I'm sorry. She looked a hot mess. This is literally a visual how she's looked or been this whole season. A mess. All right, they're going to learn about Ashtray. Or is Lori about to like sit next to Rue? Oh, can we get the jewels in Rue conversation? <clears throat> I just literally feel like Rue's going to be on a high note, thinking things are good, and then Lori's going to come and scoop her up. I don't know why I got that this image in my head. <clears throat> Things you're gonna have this conversation with Jules. Things are gonna be looking up and up, and then thought I forgot about you. <laughs> McKay, yeah, okay, McKay's gone. <clears throat> That's true. She's going to have her goons, her little dancing boyfriend, to get her. <clears throat> Spider-Man's going to have to save her next season. Tom Holland. Aha. Rude, that's a good move because I'm sorry, Jules. You... Y'all both need to figure figure yourselves out individually before you guys can be a, a couple. And that's so funny just thinking about season one finale. Who was it that left Rue at the at the uh, the train station? Parallel that to this, Rue is the one to leave Jules. Not on the train, obviously, but that's a pretty good pretty good parallel. I don't know. I feel like Lori's in this school. <laughs> I just feel like she's about to get scooped up, y'all. <sighs> no. Maybe no Lori. <clears throat> she says she stayed clean through the school year. Why do I feel like someone's about to pick her up in this alley? She okay? Oh, by the way, if you all hear this song, this is that song that her and uh, Labyrinth was uh, was referring to.
No, Lori, I wouldn't say I'm disappointed because I didn't want anything to happen to Rue, but I, I don't know why I figured, I thought that was going to be something that's going to happen. This song is fire. This song is fire. <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen, all the wonderful folks out there, there you have it. Season two, episode eight, season finale of Euphoria. Um, we will just for you all that want to continue this conversation because I certainly do. Um, I got a lot of thoughts. I'm still processing it all with you all live. I, I, this is my first time watching the episode, but in about ten minutes. We will be going live. We have our live after show myself and my special guest. We'll be talking about this episode, talking about what worked, what didn't work. Is Ashtray really dead? Is Faye or the Fed is going to jail for the foreseeable future? Is Kyle going to have a defense team? Why didn't Nate have that gun with him? No one of the cops are coming. Let's see this little uh, after special. Let me know in the chat, guys, how you all feeling about this finale. I got some thoughts. We're going to talk about it on our live show at 9.15, just in 10 minutes. We're going to talk about it, but I want to know your thoughts while I still have you all. Again, we're going to be going live in 10 minutes, still on this channel. It's just going to be on a, another stream link, so let me put the link in the chat now, but we're going to be going live in a little bit. But let me know in the chat. Love it, like it, hate it. How y'all feeling about this episode? So I'm gonna put the link to tonight's live after show in the the chat. Let me put the link. I'm putting the link to tonight's live stream in the chat. Let me give me a second, guys. But let me know why I'm doing that. How you all feel about this finale? Was it everything you wanted? Did it give you all the feels, the thrills, the chills, and everything in between? Go ahead and put that in the chat. And we're gonna have this conversation in just a little bit. All right, so I pinned the link to tonight's live after show in the chat, so you know, we can have this conversation in the stream stream a little bit. And we'll we're gonna break it down. Right now I'm feeling there's some stuff I really enjoyed about this episode. I was on the edge of my seat, you all that watched it live. Um, but the whole Fez and Ashtray scene was very hard to watch. The Nate thing was very, very unexpected. But as a finale, and if the rumors to be true, we might not be getting season three for another two years. Ah. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm listening to the after show, by the way. I'm just hearing them talking about the song. But again, guys, the link is in the chat. Myself, my special guest, we're going to be having a, a discussion. We're going to discuss it.
I want to hear. Yeah, I want to hear about this Nate scene. And I'm going to pull up your comments a little bit. But again, we're going to have this conversation tonight. We're going to have a conversation tonight. I want to again click the link in the in the uh, it's pinned in the chat. Click that link. And in seven minutes, we're going to have a discussion about tonight's finale. <clears throat> so I'm going to save a lot of my thoughts for that. But let me know in the chat how you all feeling. Like I said, I'm I'm I'm, I'm kind of still processing it all. And pardon me, I'm just sending a link to my guests for they can uh, hop into the chat for we can have this discussion. So uh, bear with me, guys. I'm gonna read you guys this chat, but again, I want to have this. Let's have this conversation. Just sending the link to my guests tonight. A couple of them might not be able to make it, but we're gonna have a good show no matter what. We're gonna have a fire show. All right, let me get to let me see. Let me see. Catch up to these, these comments here. Anticlimactic, not really satisfied. Lori ain't gonna forget. Yeah, that's a season three plot. Y'all some haters. Time jump, yeah, we can get a time jump because even Rue even said that she didn't do drugs for the rest of the school year. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna see them in their senior year. Maybe Nate's gonna be in college. Maybe all right, guys, let's carry this conversation again. I'm gonna send the link. The link is in the chat right now. Click the link. Myself and my special guests will be having a discussion about this episode. Uh, again, for everyone that tuned in to the live stream, let me turn this off because I can't hear myself talk with someone else talking in my ear. Um, myself and my special guests, we're going to be going live here in four minutes uh, talking about this episode. But again, I want to I want to thank you all that super chats that we had earlier, the the thumbs up, the sharing, the great comments. You know, uh, I know there were some issues on HBO in. I know you guys stuck through. And watch this this finale with me. So I really do appreciate it. Again, click that link in the description or click the link in the chat as well as in the description. Click that. And then in four minutes, I'm going to get some water and use the restroom right quick. In four minutes, we'll be going live, continuing this conversation. So again, click it. And I'll see you guys just a little bit. Again, I want to thank you all for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit. We'll see you on the next stream. See you guys in the next one.